Breaking news, this is coming from Independent TV 7. On a quick one, retired Navy Commodore Kunle Olaumi arrives Defense Intelligence Agency after being declared wanted over Channel TV anti Buhari interview. Yes, Navy Commodore Kunle Olaumi arrives in VIA in Abuja over Channel TV interview by, you know, uh, and the allegations made against Buhari being the sponsor uh, or part of the sponsor of Boko Haram. Retired Nigerian Navy Commodore Kunle Olaumi has arrived at the Military Defense Intelligence Agency, DIA, Abuja, a few days after he was declared wanted by the agency. A top source told News Direct that the former Navy Commodore arrived at the agency's office in the company with his lawyer. Uh, and not only one lawyer, you know, many lawyers. Uh, this Tuesday, Navy Commodore Kunle Olaumi has arrived at the military DIA in Abuja. He was accompanied by his lawyer, at the source also told Sahara reporters. They initially declared him wanted but downgraded it when the plot was leaked. Meanwhile, human rights lawyers like Femi Falano, senior advocate of Nigeria, and the Abu Bakr Masha were also seen in company with Ola. Umi at the headquarters of the uh, DIA. Sahara reporters recall that the Defense Intelligence Agency had declared Olaomi wanted for exposing in an interview how President Mamadou Buhari's administration refused to probe high profile politicians whom Boko Haram terrorists named as their sponsors. The DIA had asked Olaomi to come to its, uh, to its headquarters, the DIA headquarters in Abuja on Tuesday, with its international passport, which may be seized. The agency, however, made a U-turn when the plot was exposed. The Defense Intelligence Agency is the primary military intelligence agent of uh, Nigeria. Uh, according to the report that says, he should come to uh, uh, DIA office to present himself and bring his international passport. And I believe that the reason why uh, Fermi Falano and uh, Masha, uh, who were the lawyers, you know, uh, to uh, the, the uh, ex uh, naval office officer, uh, uh, allow me, Commodore. Uh, the Defense Intelligence uh, Agency is the primary uh, military intelligence, uh, even representing the military uh, the intelligence uh, agency of Nigeria. The top source had said at the time the agency has declared retired Navy Commodore only allow me wanted for spilling the beans over Boko Haram sponsors. In the Buhari regime, they asked him to come with his international passport on Tuesday to the DIA office in Abuja. Well, if someone has laid an allegation against somebody, is it his property that should be uh, presented? Okay, he should come along with his international passport and, you know, uh, submit his international passport or submit his property or submit his uh, driver's license or submit his ID card. Is it the ID card that is being, you know, invited by his Nigeria? Uh, uh, Nigerian security forces, why are they so unprofessional? The same way Wale Shoinka has said that we in Nigeria, when it comes to you know a defense or justice or the constitution, we act unprofessional, especially in the security sectors uh, in Nigeria. Uh, well, some reporters at last Wednesday reported that uh, what Olamuni said when he featured on Channel TV Sunrise Daily Breakfast program. He had condemned the attack by bloodthirsty bandits on the Cardinal campus of Nigeria's foremost military university, the Nigerian Defense Academy, where two military officers were killed and another kidnapped. The professor of global security studies had said it is an aberration you don't attack the Nigerian Defense Academy and get away with it. He, he said in 2017, he said, I carried out an investigation by the Minister of Defense that wanted me to check what was going on with the training and the security idea in Nigerian Defense Academy. He said, I remember I spent about a week in the NDA, Nigerian Defense Academy, with the commandants and the staff, but something struck me. He said, every Friday the gate of the NDA, Nigerian Defense Academy, is thrown open and everybody has access to pray in the mosque, uh, is also the Muslim entity. And the question I want to ask is that why in every uh, security uh, formation, uh, especially uh, the government uh, parastatus, government security formation, there is always, you know, mocks 
and churches yeah. and especially uh, the mosques they are so very very exorbitant or exorbitant and very big that the you know the level of impunity you know they give to their worshippers you know especially the uh, muslims counterparts it's so 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 uh, very very unprofessional like uh, what has said that is so very very out of context they would you know uh, they will mobilize themselves and you know overwhelm the building of the mosque uh, to the extent they you know spread themselves ahead to the road you know causing traffic causing so many you know uh, chaos in, in the environment whereby the muslims can counterpart praise uh, in their uh, respective numbers uh, is that on fridays you are going to see the same thing happening across all military formations in the country if you go to defense headquarters I served at the defense headquarters as the deputy director of the defense administration between 2015 and 2017 in this uh, present Buhari's administration before he retired. He said throughout my two years at defense headquarters, I received visits, uh, visitors twice because of the street security architecture uh, there, but every Friday the gate of the defense headquarters is thrown wide open for everybody to come in and uh, observe uh, Jumat, which is the Muslim prayer that uh, they observe every Friday. According to what he has just said, that the uh, level of uh, uh, strictness in uh, entering the Defense Academy, especially uh, the barracks or military uh, formation, is very, very, very intense. Now, you can't just badge in, or even if you are coming to check on somebody or you are being invited, the level of scrutiny and level of uh, uh, the intense of security by the personnel huh, before you can gain entrance now he's saying when it comes to friday the level of strictness is not you know embedded on friday it allows the muslim counterpart you know to just flood be you a terrorist be a bandit anyhow everybody goes in there just a, a, a because of prayer because of juma and the uh, uh, i violate the uh, law that says you know, when you go to barracks, you are very covered and secured. But on Friday, nobody is secured with the level of impunity the Muslims, you know, uh, uh, converge on Fridays. He said that is the time the terrorists are the time to profile our security environment. It has always been the case. I have served the military intelligence for the past 35 years. Our problem is religion and social culture. Uh, but tracing his point, when uh, the Nigerian government, you know, sought for help from the United States, that they should give them ammunition to come to their aid to stop insurgency and, you know, conquer uh, the security menace we are facing in Nigeria. But they said, the U.S. said, well, the problem of Nigeria is not, you know, um, by a war, is not, you know, conquering Boko Haram through uh, aircraft, missile, and, you know, shooting every year and year. That is an internal problem. And um, Professor Kule now allow me is now you know relating to that and saying we, the problem we are facing in Nigeria is religion and social cultural problem, which is very very true and is an internal problem. Allow me and added that he was a member of the intelligence brief at the defense headquarters during the leadership of the then chief of defense staff. CDS General Abayomi Oloni Shakin retired. The intelligence expert said he told the then CDS that the center of gravity of the Boko Haram is, uh, uh, is very embedded insurgents ravaging the northeast and spreading to other parts of Nigeria was a sponsor. I told General Oloni Shakin that the center of this problem cannot be solved the same way we solved the problem of the Niger Delta. The Niger Delta problem was solved during ex President Umar Ruyaradua basically by me, and I told them that we can't use that same template for Boko Haram. That is coming from uh, Professor uh, Olaumi. He also said that he told General Oluni Shakin to look at the center of gravity of the problem. I was made a member of the committee in 2016 to 2017, including former Chief of Army Staff. Uh, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atairu who died. I told them that the center of gravity of Boko Haram in Nigeria is the sponsor of the program. It was beyond us because the job we needed to do was kinetic but 
we cannot resolve the issues of sponsors of Boko Haram that were in Buhari's government that we now know them. That was why we couldn't pursue that aspect. That, and that could have resolved the issue because we need to arrest people. And recently, over 400 people were gathered as sponsors of Boko Haram. Why is it that the Buhari government has refused to try them, you know, charge them to court? Why can't this government bring them to trial if not that they are partisan and part of the uh, carriage that is going on, which simply means Buhari and his cohort are part of the Boko Haram. You remember this Boko Haram issue started in 2012 and I was in the military intelligence at that time. We arrested those people. My organization conducted interrogation and they, and they who were the suspects mentioned names. I can't come on here and uh, start mentioning names of people that are presently in government. That I know that the boys that we arrested mentioned their names one by one. Some of them are governors now. Some of them are in the Senate. Some of them are in Aso Rock. That is coming from uh, Professor uh, uh, Olaomi. Says most of the sponsors of Boko Haram they are in Buhari's administration. Yes. He said, why, I, uh, why should the government decide to cause this kind of embarrassment and insecurity to the sense of what happened yesterday, hmm. Tuesday at the NDA? Olaomi had also said that the Department of State Services and uh, tremendous information on terrorists, but they could not do anything except by the body language of the Commander-in-Chief. Okay, what he's saying in essence is that the DSS has a whole lot of information that can gag, you know, to conquer the menace called insecurity but the commanders are the problem they are part of the you know uh, sponsors hmm. according to a bio says if we don't aggressively put an end to this stupidity foolishness 